What's going on guys? Welcome to Bogey RC Videos. Now today we are going to be focusing back on the uh, SCX24 C10s. These are basically identical trucks other than uh, I've started upgrading this one. We put the uh, CR18 wheels and tires on it and we've made some hybrid axial Hobby Plus shocks to uh, give us a little lift and keep the tires from rubbing into the body. So what I've decided guys, since this modification was so cheap and I have another truck to mod, I've decided that I wanna go two completely different directions in what I do with these trucks. So since we started out so cheaply with this one, I want to continue in that direction with this truck um, and I want to do this as budget minded as we can do it. I know there's there's different budgets for different people in the uh, in the hobby world so I want to mod this truck up as cheaply as I possibly can and then this truck we are going to go the opposite direction. So we're not going to really worry about what the budget is on this one. We're going to see if we can do this one up kind of to the max or whatever. And uh, then ultimately, you know, we, we'll compare the two in the end or as we go along and see which one, uh, you know, see what, see what we can do with each different philosophy. But anyway, we're going to start out on this truck since we've did tires and shocks on this one uh, we're going to start out with this one by doing some shocks these are old man emu shocks these are actually 1 18th scale these come from rc four wheel drive our part number here is z d0076 these are some uh pretty nice scale shocks guys and uh they're going to be bigger than the uh, axial shocks. As we can see, they come with extra spring rates that we can install. I think they got the medium springs in them now. And we have a harder spring and a softer spring. And uh, I'm told that these can run oil in them, but I've also heard that they can leak a little bit when we do that. And then there's apparently a mod to change an O-ring or something in here. But we're not going to focus on that today today we're just going to focus on getting these things installed and uh, setting our ride height let's get these out of the box here now and also they come with uh, some little stickers you can install on the shocks now these uh, have the medium spring rate in them right now, like I said, a little bit probably too strong for these trucks with the medium in there. I've actually already set one up and stuck it on there. So I know that uh, this is gonna lift it up quite a bit with these medium springs. But what I have in mind is running a droop suspension and uh, we'll see where our ride height is with these set in a in a droop position because I have ordered new wheels and tires for these and they are approximately the same size as these tires so for right now we can uh, see if we can mess around with these shocks and get these set to the ride height that I want and uh, that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so one of the things to take note of with these old man emu shocks are the size of the holes. Now, the screws that I'm using are actually, uh, they came out of the uh, links on my deadbolt. I had to, uh, I had to rob some screws so that we could uh, have the same size screws as our screw holes. And one of the things you notice is these 
screws are too small. So what I've done is I've just I've figured out a way that I can take care of that and tighten this up. I don't want that slop in there. Um, I've seen other people put these shocks on and they just leave that slop and I'm not a fan of that. So what I've done, if we can see here, we, we, uh, we actually uh, made these fit tight and we made some little spacers because once these bolt into place, uh, since this is a little bit bigger around, it will rub the frame if we don't space it out. So we're going to get this one installed and then I will show you how I tightened this stuff up and how I made the spacers. Okay, so I kind of figured this out by trial and error, guys. Um, like I said, I wanted to tighten this up. And I thought, my first thought was to uh, put some, uh, some heat shrink over this, heat it up, and, and make it fit in there tight. And my first time I tried it with this, uh, this size here, um, and what I did was I just cut off a piece that was as long as the, uh, the eyelets are wide on the, uh, on the shock. And uh, we put it on the screw and we heated it up. The problem was it didn't shrink down small enough to, to uh, go into the, uh, into the shock and nor did it shrink down small enough to you know stick to the screw but what it did do was once it shrunk down it got thicker and it got hard and that actually worked out really great because that allows me to uh, cut it in half and make two spacers all right so we've got this little uh, piece of heat shrink cut down to size and uh, what we're going to do is just slip it over the screw and you know it's even a little bit big it, it'll slip over the head i'm using this little uh pin vise here to hold the screw because you know the screw's fitting to get hot once uh once we install the uh or once we uh put the heat to it so let's stick this in the end of the pin vise and we get our heat shrink right to the head of the screw and we just uh, go ahead and shrink it down just like that but yeah we just unthread this little uh, little piece that we made by with heat shrink by putting the uh, heat on it now we'll set that to the side for a second and uh, because this, this is too big to go in here as uh, we said before so my next step was I got a little smaller piece of heat shrink and uh, we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna cut it to the same width as the eyelet and uh, we'll put that on the screw and heat it up and it will stay in place once it's on there it's gonna be it's gonna be there so let's Cut that off about right there. Double check, make sure it's not uh, too wide. Yeah, it looks about right. So again, we will uh, slide the smaller heat shrink up on our screw. We want to make sure that it's right up against the head of the screw. And we'll uh, apply the heat to it. Let it cool down for a second. Now this one will be just right size to slide into this shock if we're lucky. Last one worked just fine, so let's try this one here and see what we get. And look at that, it's a perfect fit. 
there is no more no more play it wasn't quite a really press fit but it fits in there snugly so that's and you see it keeps the screw in place then we just take this other one that we made and we will cut that one right in half in the middle just like so and now we just thread this one right back on and this is going to be our spacer And there we have it. Now as we screw this in, it'll kind of squeeze that up and uh, we can we can stop whenever we feel like we've uh, got the spacing right. So that's how we uh, that's how we tighten up our screws. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead off camera. I'll make the rest of them up. We'll get them all put on the truck and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so here we have it guys, uh, all four are installed. Looking good, looking good. And we've got this set at a full droop. And look at that suspension. Uh, the ride height is, you know, it's not going to rub anymore. And... We've got pretty decent articulation. Let's, uh, let's use one of these right here. Look at that. Look at that. We are, uh, I think we, no, well, that's, that's just about right. So, yeah. Now, I'm learning about this. I've never ran a truck in full droop before. Like this I've uh, seen a lot of guys that say they like to do it and I'm learning as we go so we're gonna try this out and see if uh... oh look at there so we've we pretty much uh, I think we've at least matched the uh, suspension travel on the other one or or maybe beat it by just a little bit so, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how this works out, guys. But uh, yeah, that ride height is really nice. That's a full droop, and uh, yeah, that is what she's like with the old man emus on there. So we're gonna test this thing out and see how it works. Uh, like I said, I've never never. Uh, did a full droop suspension before but uh i like it it's uh stopping right where it needs to be i've got uh i've got another set of wheels and tires ordered for this so like i said they're about the same size and uh, i also got something else for this that's really uh, exciting for me uh, it should be coming in the mail pretty soon and uh yeah we'll uh we'll reveal that later on but anyway, guys, there's your old man emu shocks installed on the uh, SCX24, C10, or K10, whatever you like to call it. Until next time, oh, Uncle Lee, Bulgar RC Video said, I'll see ya.